Yeah, hello, good people. Yeah, and it's another day here. We are having a HP laptop. Yeah, that is having a screen issue. Customer is telling me that the laptop is switching on, the fan is spinning, and the backlit keyboard is on, but the screen is not working. Yeah, the customer came so that we can change the screen, and only after I did what you see me doing here with my phone, Using the light from my phone, the flashlight from my phone, and I determined that I was able to tell that the screen is, is having a picture, but only you can see when you use some light. And so I told the client, we don't have to change the screen. We can mend the screen, and screen is still going to be fine. So let's go under the microscope and try to see the few issues here we can rectify. Yeah, when you're having your laptop coming on, the fan spinning and everything is switching on according to, to the way you are used to, but you're not having a display. So stop rushing to changing the screen. Stop rushing to concluding that you need to put this and that. Just try to do some troubleshooting here and there. Yeah, that fuse is taking some resistance. It's taking some values here. Okay, just a minute. Yeah, you see on my multimeter, when you see the continuity, the fuse is okay. Yeah, the fuse is supposed to be passing current from one side to the other. Yeah, so the... Let's try to check also on this area here. Uh, physical inspection is also very important. Check the capacitor there. The capacitor looks fine to me. And uh, is there something else wrong here? Okay. So I will check a certain filter here. There's a certain filter I want to check to see whether there's a voltage of that filter. Or maybe the, the filter is burned, has burnt. All is out, in other words. So, yeah, this is the filter. Let me try to take some measurements here. Yeah. yeah, the filter is out. I can see the filter is not uh, taking any power. There's no communication between the first probe and the second probe. Yeah, so this means the filter is out. So there's a shot here, as I can see. Yeah, the, the meter is beeping on both sides. So let me try to reduce the power supply voltage and try to see whether I can, something is taking some voltage here. I still can detect short here. Check my multimeter, there's a beep on both sides of the cups. Yeah, so something is not okay here. And so I can, I can also check here on my multimeter, I can see there's a beep. So that's a short circuit, there's no question. Something is shorting. So let me come with some voltage here, inject. Let me use my tweezer and this wire here to try to touch with some voltage and I can see something is taking some amperes. But the amperage being drawn is too small, it's too little. I don't know whether we are going to get anything, anything warm at, at this rate. But you know what, we keep trying and See what you can. Let me add some some voltage. Yeah, now the amperage being drawn is a bit high, so maybe you can touch with a finger and see what is getting hot, or maybe what is taking some power here. And uh, the cups mean something. Uh, let me let me take some alcohol here. Okay, let me pour some more alcohol. Yeah, the amperage is too little. The, the amperage being drawn is too little. I don't know whether this is going to determine anything to do with the shot on this screen.
Okay, so let me also add some voltage. Yeah, I can see it's like there's a cup that is drying alcohol, although it's it's not drying in a, at a high rate, but I at least I can tell the first cup there is taking alcohol at a bit higher rate than the second one. Yeah, so this could mean this this could be our guy. So let's keep our eyes open. Yeah, I can see the first cup is taking some 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 amperage. This could be the cup that is causing the shot on this screen. Yeah, I want you guys to remember now, if you go to the shop and you are trying to buy this screen and purchase it as new, there's a certain proportion of amount that you're going to spend on this screen, of which is not going to be very cheap on your side. And that's why I'm trying to do this video so that I can show you that it's not a must to buy a new screen each and every time you're having a no display on your screen sir you put on your laptop you switch on your laptop and the laptop is coming on everything is working fine the normal spinning rate of a fan is going on but you're not having a display please try to diagnose the laptop try to see if you can save that amount yeah anytime you anytime you're able to save anything please take advantage tough economic times are here with us yeah you see the flux is also melting very quickly on this capacitor here the first one so i think this is our guy yeah these are tough because there are tough economic times ahead for those who are saying that uh, things are going to get any easier yeah we are hoping for things to get uh, easier at least but as we go on with this life guys we know that life is not going to be very easy and so if you can't save any coin at any cost it's i think it's good to save something it's because money nowadays is a bit scarce also if you're able to yeah the shot is gone as you can see now i'll try to fix the fuse here i put a jumper so that you can get a Current flowing from one at the other easily so that the display can come back. So let me come here with a hot iron and try to. Yeah, so I was trying to say, like, if you are in a position to save any coin, take advantage of that because today you save one coin, tomorrow two coins, the other day, and that small amount of money you think that doesn't make no difference, that is the money that makes different. A lot of difference in this life so if you have a culture of saving it's a good culture because in the in the beginning is not much but when you take a lot of time saving saving you you realize that you are having a substantial you are having some substantial amount of money that you have saved out of your out of your pocket instead of spending each and every time you need anything So let's try to solder this jumper here. It's not going to be easy. Remember that components are very tiny um, under microscope. Yeah, and also grabbing those tiny components under microscope is not easy. Yeah, I was with a friend the other day who came here to visit me and I told him to try to grab anything under the microscope and they could not grab anything at all. <laughs> so don't always assume it's easy to beat, uh, be specific on these components here when you see me trying to, to solder a component and it's not very easy yeah it's true it's not easy because the components are truly true and you just get to see them big because of the microscope effect magnifying effect on the microscope so it's never that easy so let's now try to take out the rest of the of the wire we really don't need it Uh, yeah and it's out and so i think the screen is okay now let's test this screen let's test this screen and see whether you're having a good screen guys what do you think yeah the laptop is here connect the screen comfortably yeah as you can see from the video the screen occupies a big proportion of the laptop and so it's yeah those are materials that have been used to make that screen and the the bigger it is the, that means they have 
taken quite of materials to manufacture that part of a, of a laptop and so screen are not easy they are not cheap when you want to buy a screen it's not very cheap and you would agree with me for those who have bought new screens for the laptops yeah, but if you have money, you can end up throwing the whole laptop away and maybe buy a new one like if you have money. So let me switch on the laptop and see whether you're having a display. We call it the moment of truth. See whether we have been able to fix this screen. Yeah, and I think the screen is okay. What do you think? You can see down the video. Yeah, the screen is working fine. So we have just saved some amount of money instead of going to the shop and buying a new one. We could use that money to do something else. Maybe something you like. You could use that money to go somewhere to take some delicious food you like. Or maybe also anything. Anything can happen with the money you have saved. So yeah, that's the way. So guys, I keep reminding you, anytime you need BIOS firmwares to write on your BIOS chip, you can always talk to me via the WhatsApp number. I've provided it on the description. There's the PayPal email and there's the M-Pesa till number for the guys who want to purchase things here in Kenya, be it the chargers, be it the laptop, the motherboards. Yeah, everything is on the description link. Also, if you want to support the channel, guys, let me know what you think. Once more, guys, subscribe, subscribe, like, share, and let me know what you think down in the comment section. Let me know what video you would want me to make for you to, to gain a little bit of experience in laptop uh, industry or the technician industry. And that is, uh, that is it for today, guys. Bye.